so in this video we're going to go over installing the Parrot OS. It's another uh, penetration tool, software, Debian based, um, similar to Kali. I've heard a lot of great things about this. I haven't tried it myself. I haven't even uh, downloaded it yet. So I'm going to take you to step by step process of getting this thing going and hopefully we can get it on a uh, virtual machine. So let's go ahead and download it. And let's see, home security. Unlike Kali, I had a lot of issues downloading like the bare bones basic version of Kali. I like a nice, more complete version of an operating system, so I'm not downloading a bunch of uh, stuff with it. So let's see if we can get the yeah, see, lightweight. You don't want that. Um, let's do the all in one here. Check this out. Let's see. Security edition. This looks promising. We are going to virtualize it, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's do a normal download. Okay, five gigs, six hours, four hours, three, two, one, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 20, 19, 18. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pause the video. I'm not going to sit here and let you guys watch a uh, download happen for 20 hours. It's fluctuating, so yeah, we'll pause the video and we'll come back. Okay, our download is complete, and from poking around at it, uh, we see here it finished in a OVA, which is a Open Virtualization Format Archive. Now I'm going to right-click, extract it. I'll tell you yes. You shouldn't get that pop up though, but if you do, yes through it. Uh, it won't take but a few more seconds. And unlike other uh, installations of exact like uh, Kali, it's not an ISO. It'll come out in this M uh, VMDK virtual machine disks something. Oh, disk format. There you go. Um, yes to all. Okay, this finishing up. So you don't necessarily install it. This is actually going to be pretty quick here. Um, looks like it finished. So I close. Come over to our virtual box here. And, uh, oh, no, not start. We want to go to new. I'm going to tell Callie back here to cancel. Maybe. Callie, go to sleep. Power off. Alright. New. Call what you want. And it's going to be a Linux. And then it's a Debian. 64, I believe. It doesn't say. No, we'll call it Parrot 2 then. Next, and let's give it 2 gigs of RAM. So 2048. Next. Uh, I'm gonna eat, let's see, use an ex, uh, existing one. So, here you need to decide if you want to leave it in your downloads folder, if you want to move it. I'm gonna move it. So, uh, it's actually this one here. So, I'm gonna cut. And I'm gonna go out somewhere and drop it. Okay, so we cut it and we come down here to my program installer folder and I'm gonna drop it in a virtual box. Oh, it's just not sitting in my downloads folder if I ever clean it out and won't accidentally delete the whole uh, virtual machine. So we'll let that go for a second and come right back. Okay, and I finished copying over. So this is our file path here. I'm just going to copy that make it quicker. Um, so we're going to point to it and I'm going to draw there. So path out to where you put your uh, VMDK open. Well, let's check our settings real quick, make sure everything's good. Yep, yep. So it's already got our SATA controller pointed to there. And I'm going to turn on USB 3. Let's go ahead and plug in the wireless card just to, for future. So if you have any USB devices you want your machine to see, plug them in now. And then you hit the plus sign, and then you can target which ones you want. 
So here is our wireless device. We'll let that go in. Okay, should be good. Let's hit okay. And let's start it. Let's see what we got here. You can hear the wireless device just switched over to our virtual machine. It's like booting up. Maybe. There it goes, okay. So, little side note, it may take a little bit longer than you're used to. So there we go. Um, let's see. Other. That's probably for your root. I don't know the root user yet. Oh, it looks like it logged us in already. Maybe. It being the first time, it may may just be a, a long startup process. Okay. There it goes. Our desktop is now popping up. Keyboard layout, um, US English, okay. That's very important because uh, I ran into some problems where I think it had the European keyboard and you're missing like the at sign and the pipe command are different. Um, yeah, we're gonna have it check for updates. Um, enter the administrative password, um, okay. I don't believe we have an admin password yet. Oh, let's just try a root. Let's see what that does. Okay, well, uh, root backwards is another popular one. T O O R. Well, that one didn't tell us no yet. I don't think we got it. Okay, so. Maybe? I'll pause and let you know what happens. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. There. So we know the root password is Tor. T O O R. Very common. Package can be upgraded. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade it. I usually like doing this all myself through the command line, but if it's given up the option now, may as well just let it go. I'm sh more than sure all the commands are the same as all your Kali stuff app dash get update, app dash get upgrade. All that good stuff. So there it goes. Yeah, I think we'll be doing some more um, videos with Parrot. It's becoming a pretty popular pen testing OS. And it looks very fancy. So I guess we'll start messing around with that some more. Oh, but I think I'll end the video here. I'm sure we'll have some more. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Links to any tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you or if you'd like to see a video on another topic. Thank you for watching.